Hey, this is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate that. And I thought I would do a video um, and show you some album covers that is uh, represents at least a small cross-section of music that I was actually listening to in high school. Now... I'm 62 years old as of the filming of this video in May 2023. And I went from, I was in high school from 1976 through 1979. So I'm going to restrict what I'm showing you um, to uh, albums and music that I was actually buying and listening to at that time and music that was actually released at that time. I'm not going to showcase some albums and music that I was listening to years, you know, before that. For example, the Rooftop Singers and their smash hit, Walk Right In. Although I was listening to that music, I didn't buy it. I mean, I didn't, it wasn't issued between 1976 and 1979. Same with the Cream album. It's Cream album. It was not issued between 1976 and 1979, although I was listening to it. Same with the Modern Jazz Quartet. I was listening to them in that, between 1976 and 1979, but this album was not issued between 1976 and 1979. Only music that I was buying and that was issued, being released between 1976 and 1979, it's the only music I, that I will mention on this video. Same with the Bitches Brew album. I was listening to it, but it was not issued between 1976 and 1979. Like I said, there's just a, maybe approximately 20 album covers, just a small uh, cross-section of what I was listening to. Like I said, just 20. There were like many, 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 many other artists I was listening to. I was doing a lot of uh, recording on, on, on a cassette deck uh, while listening to a top 40 radio station so I didn't have to buy a lot of records that helped me save some money. So there's many others I could mention but there's just a small a cross section of what I was actually listening to, listening to when I was in high school. And please leave your, uh, music that you were listening to, music that was actually released when you were in high school that you were buying and listening to. So here's a small cross section of mine. This is called Dr. Buzzard's Original Savannah Band. And I'm probably mispronouncing this name, but they had a song called uh, Cherche's La Film. And that was one of my favorite songs. I think I was in the 10th grade when this was released. I used to love that song. I used to look forward to getting on the bus and I, uh, the, um, the bus driver would have it on a top 40 station. It was cool when that song came on the radio. And I also vibe into, obviously, Donna Summer between 1976 and 1979. What a marvelous singer she was. I was listening to jazz in 19, between 1976 and 1979. This is an album by uh, Ron Carter, formerly a Miles Davis quintet. It's called uh, Peg Leg. I brought this in high school. I was listening to Morgana King. I think I bought this when I was, gosh, a senior in high school. She have a, has a great version of Everything Must Change, so I had to have this record. Al Jarreau, All Fly Home. He has a great version of the Beatles' um, She's Leaving Home. Flora Purim, a Purim. She was one of my favorites. That's one album in high school, so I had to give her a, a mention. Gato Barbieri. This is a song, a solo uh, he does on this album with uh, Carlos Santana, I believe. Um, I forgot the name of the song, but anyway, it might be Latin Lady, I'm not sure. But this, this is a great album to listen to. I was listening to this in high school. Now, the band I'm about to show you, w between the ages of, uh, I guess, 16 and 18, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, for me, this was the band. This is my favorite band was when I was in high school. Parliament. Parliament Funkadelic was probably my favorite band in high school. I was really heavily into their um, their music, their sound. 
the style. I was vibing big time to Parliament Funkadelic. I used to love this. Is probably might be my favorite Parliament Funkadelic album, I believe. Fabulous Group is another one. I think I must have all the albums. I'm not sure. I got to go back and check. But that was the band for me when I was in high school. Steve uh, Kahn, uh, a guitar player. This is like a funk jazz fusion sound to it. Really great album. I was definitely listening to Nally Cole in high school. She has this great song. I think it's called uh, La Costa, I think. That's a really nice song. The big band sound of Maynard Ferguson, Touch My Heart in High School. I was listening to a lot of Michael Franks in high school. I loved his voice and his songs, you know, his vocal delivery. This is the Birchfield Nine album. Herbie Hancock. Now, this is the album which he sang on. I did a review on this record. And this is the album which he sang on. And I remember when it came out, I think it could have been the summer of 1978, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere on that time frame. But I played this record to death. I have several copies of it. This is one of my favorite uh, albums when I was in high school. Because like I said, Herbie Hancock sang using this, uh, I think it's called a, a vocoder, vocoder. And his, uh, his voice was electronically uh, altered. And it was pretty cool to listen to. Lonnie Hall of Brazil, 66, I was listening to in high school. I loved this album when I was in high school by Weather Report. I love the song, um, Mr. Gone. I don't think this was, a, uh, no, I think it was the pursuit of the woman with the feathered hat. I think I like that song on this album. And this, I, don't, I don't think this album was well, well received. I think they drastically changed their style on this album. I don't know how well. I don't think it was well received, but it was well received with me. Jazz fusion group called Sea Wind. I think this, this is on the. Uh, I think it's on the CTI record. Yeah, it is on the CTI label. This album is one of the greatest albums ever. I can't wait to uh, get the. Um, Analog Productions Acoustic Sounds reissue of this record. Asia, Steely Dan. I think it was out during my um, um, 11th grade year. Oh, by the way, when I was in high school, we went to high school for three years. It was 10th, 11th, 12th, uh, at least when I went to high school. And junior high school was 7th, 8th, and 9th. So high school for me was 10th, 11th, 12th. I should bring... Uh, make that distinction. Now, this is uh, an album by a comedian in which he sang. Bill Cosby, Cosby came out with a series of records in which he sang, and this is one of them. So I was listening to this in high school. This is an underrated guitar player, one of the most underrated guitar players of all time, because I think he's one of the best guitar players of all time, and he should be mentioned by, uh, along with the all-time greats like Eric Clapton and Hendrix. That's Johnny Guitar Watson. I was a big fan of Johnny Guitar Watson in high school. Great performer. This album, I think, is number two on my favorite albums of all time behind um, uh, What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. Songs in the Key of Life by Stevie Wonder. I think this was issued in 1976, yeah. So this would have been my freshman year of high school. And last but not least, We Want Bootsy, and that is Bootsy Collins. Another great musician that I loved to death when I was in high school. And that's just a small sample size of the music I was listening to. Like I said, there's many, many others because... Between 1976 and 1979, that was also the 70s, around the 70s disco era. And a lot of those artists, uh, at least some of them, did some actually great work. So it's probably, you know, at least 50 others I can mention, but I thought I'd keep it down to that approximately 20 uh, 
albums as musicians that I was vibing to between 1976 and 1979. Like I said, leave yours in the um, uh, comment section below, but it has to be albums that were actually issued during your high school year that you actually purchased. These are actually albums that were released between 1976 and 1979 that I was actually purchased and listened to. But like I said, there was many other types of music I was listening to during those during that time. But these are the ones I actually purchased during that time that were issued during that time. So please leave yours in the comment section below. Thank you very much for viewing my video. I really appreciate it. God bless. Strong love. Peace to all.